minimized. But I don't I mean you look at it and you're like, it makes sense. And the distances were so much larger. And as you said, you talked about that battle that the Scots won up on the hill. Uh, it, had they been a bit more successful, there's, you know, had they been not, let's not talk about the the actual living conditions, but had they beaten back the Spaniards again, I, I presume that the Spaniards would have come up them again, but maybe with a bit more, you know, they would have been a bit more cautious about it. You know, the Scots are embedded here, we've dug in. Um, we'll blockade them from the sea, you know, we'll do it this way or something. But it obviously, it, it all turned out differently. I've not read your book. I will read it. My list of books to read is, is, is immense. But during this this very extended lockdown that we're living, I'm doing very well. <laughs> I put it through. I, I was... <laughs> Yeah. I was curious to know that if you were, were you able in your book to follow certain individuals, like from different social strata uh, from Scotland who went out? I mean, we could know about Patterson, of course, because he's the guy that headed it. But I would be more interested of, of people, I would say, of the working class who were, you know, manning the, the ropes on the boats, uh, hoping to make a name for themselves or get a plot of land, much like happened with the English in, in Virginia or elsewhere. Uh, is, did, were you able to trace some of these people back? Um, it, it, it's slightly hard to know what the social status of was of the various people involved. Um, and that's partly because, the again, the Scots were forward thinking and therefore they were quite meritocratic. So they didn't mm. use any form of military titles. Mm. Um, so it's hard to understand the background of people's social status, apart from obviously the, the people at the very top. But yes, I mean, certainly I was able to, to trace back what happened to, for example, there was a, a, a Scotsman who was taken because he spoke Latin and French. And so he, he was brought on the expedition as an interpreter. And when the first expedition left uh, Caledonia, they stopped uh, at the Bay of Matanzas in the mm -hmm. north of Cuba. And he was getting some fresh drinking water when 